Well, hello, fast pitch softball fans from coast to coast and around the world. Today I'm going to go over the different types, what I believe are the four different types of fast pitch softball pitchers. Um, there's a, this is something that I think is overlooked by a lot of coaches because they talk about um, you know the do's and the don'ts, but those do's and don'ts really depend on the type of style that you are, the type uh, you know in your body build. So I've identified uh, these four. Now, typically, um, when I started doing this, I I thought about it just in terms of height. So this axis here would be the person's height, and this one here would be the weight or the girth. Um, after doing some evaluation, I find there's a lot of exceptions to the rule. Rabbits aren't necessarily small. Horses aren't necessarily big. But they do have some distinct um, things about their, um, about their delivery. Giraffes, the dead giveaway is this straight arm and a straight leg. They're not hopping at all. Uh, horses have a slightly bent right arm with a straight leg. Bears have this bent arm and either a short hop or a no hop. I should add that most of the female pitchers are in this area or in the top two. Most of the male pitchers are on the bottom because they're just about all hopping these days. And then rabbits down here have the bent arm and a long hop. Now this pitcher here, Taren Mullet, isn't really taking a super long hop in this um, in this photo, but I wanted to use a female just so I could keep uh, consistent here. Um, alrighty then. The pros and the cons. Giraffes, at least it's been my experience that giraffes uh, they can throw heat, they can throw good movement, but I've never seen a giraffe that has a great changeup. Now, somebody might make a liar out of me. Giraffe comes along and can show that they've got a great changeup, but I've never seen one. Um, horses have the great stamina and control. Movement can sometimes be an issue. There's a lot of horses out there, by the way. Um, bears have probably the most power, um, and, um, stamina could be an, uh, an issue. They could be injury prone as well. And the rabbit has a great repertoire. They can throw everything, but because of the hop, there may be an overthrowing problem and uh, resulting in a control problem. And okay, where else is I going to go with this? Um, yeah, this sort of touches upon the huge controversy about uh, hopping. Because men are all hopping these days, and they're the rabbits and the bears usually. Giraffes are the, uh, are the females. But not all men hop and not all women don't hop. So I'm going to take a bit of a peek at that. Okay, here we are back. We're going to look at a few photos here. Here's a typical little giraffe. Nice high leg kick, straight right arm. What else we got? There's a rare photo, folks. A male giraffe. Get your binoculars. You gotta save this one. There's another giraffe. Straight arm, long stride. There's Jenny, typical horse. Another horse. Here's the bear, a classic bear. Now you don't see many female bears, but there she is. No hop and bent elbow. Here's a bear by the name of Ricky Smith. You can see that hop. Watch his right foot. I'll put the cursor right there. His right foot goes bingo. Just a short little hop, so I'll give him a bear. 
Uh, here is our wrap. Now watch the length of this step. I'll put the cursor right there. Bingo. His right foot is closer to the eight foot circle than it is to the rubber. So that's got to be about a five foot hop. But then there's a short second stride. So there's your typical rabbit. Here is uh, Robin, 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 I forget her last name. She was a, one of the top pitchers for Team Canada here a few years ago. Goes up into her motion, and that is a classic bear stance. Take a look at her right foot. Put the cursor right there. It doesn't move too much, it just kind of turns. So I'm going to give her a bear. There's the delivery. Here's a rabbit. She's hopped six or eight inches off of the rubber. And here's Taryn Mowat from several years ago. First of all, take a look at that grip. There's a classic rise ball grip right there. See that? That's how you throw a fast rise ball. And now let's take a look at her motion. Up, there's the turn there. So go back, take a boo at her right foot, click that ahead, and she is just off the rubber. Wonder if she ever got called for an illegal pitch with that motion. But I would give her a bit of a rabbit. That's a rabbit motion. All the weight is now on her right foot. So that's about it, folks. That's all I have for you today. I hope you liked it. I think Kitty was pretty impressed. Weren't you, Curveball? Yeah. So stay safe out there, folks. Talk later.